Some people expect their husbands to make them happy. Some people expect their wives to make them happy. Some expect their children to make them happy. No. Happiness, fulfillment, joy, all of that depends absolutely on you. Hello? Your health depends on you. He said, I, I don't know how I got infected. Well, it depends on you. It doesn't matter what you were infected with. It depends on you. Now, you may not be responsible for how you got to where you are. But you become responsible for staying there. I don't know whether or not you got me. Every adult here is responsible for what he or she looks like. It's not your father's responsibility. It's not because of your mother or your father. Your face is your responsibility. <laughs> Believe me. It's very rare to see a child and say, ah, that woman gave birth to an ugly baby. It's very rare. Am I right? And beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. It's true. So everybody was born fine. I know some of you don't agree with that. <laughs> but here's the fact. As an adult, you're responsible for your life. This is the truth. Doesn't matter how you got there. But staying there belongs to you. And you know what? That's good news. For some people, they think, hey, they're trying to blame us for everything. No, nobody's trying to blame you for your condition. I know it's easier to say, well, I lost my job because of so-and-so. Uh, I, I didn't do well in the exam because of that other fellow. Well, this happened to me because of this. My house got burned because of this. Doesn't matter what happened. Where'd you go from there? What choices would you make? under the circumstances to have a catalog of excuses is that what you're gonna do are you gonna be distributing excuses in life some people have a, a briefcase of excuses Everywhere they go, they open it and then they say, you see, I would have been this, I would have been this, but look what happened. And they just keep explaining and explaining, explaining all their uh, misfortune. No. No. Don't keep a library of your disappointments. Don't do that. Make a decision. I decided when I was still a kid, I decided to live a happy, prosperous, joyful, and exceptional life. I chose to. It's a choice you make. You can't spoil my day. Nothing spoils my day. No, nothing, absolutely nothing. I take charge of my day. You have to understand that you are absolutely responsible. Listen, the Bible says the heavens belong to God and the earth he has given to the children of men. He is not running things in the world. You are. That's why things are in a mess. If God were running things, everything would be beautiful. The Bible tells us after he created all things that he created, he saw that it was very good. That's what the Bible says. Very good. But it doesn't look like that now. Why? Because after it was very good, he said, all right, Adam, have dominion. It's all yours. 
And God stepped out of the scene and left Adam to run things. You still there? So, God's not the one running things. Say this to me. I've made the choice. Now, I know I'm making you say something you probably haven't decided, but... <laughs> I know if I make you say it, you'll be awakened to it. I've made the choice to be successful, victorious, happy, and prosperous. It's a choice.